But I ordered this boat a few years ago. I didn't make it. It was ordered uh, to be built according to plans that I bought online. I forgot exactly, just on the internet. It's uh, sewing. Now, it's pretty much made to scale. It's about uh, 98 centimeters long. Uh, 98 centimeters is 39 inches, about. It has, well, it was damaged during the um, transportation because this boat has wheeled in several countries already as we were just moving. And it, in while well, it was not properly packed, so the bow here got broken haven't fixed it yet, that's a bit of a pity, but it's what it is. And uh, the, the, the board here, the rail, let's say kind of came out on this side, on the starboard side. Other than that, it's pretty much as it came when I got it new. It took me a while to get this on. I have to go many times back to the factory to have it made the way I really wanted, to make sure the details were there because the guys didn't know anything about boats. They just had the right machinery to make this happen. I put the cut of the chocolate thing here. I don't know, just like there was, and they used to have boats. They had a trim I ran. So, and I just had it there. I didn't name the boat yet. The rudder actually works. That was important for me that it was fully functional. Um, originally, I wanted to make us a model that will sail. So they had this bulb keel. So obviously the, the soling keel is different. This was, as you know, for scale boats, they don't, um, I mean, the proportions don't work. It's real life. So if you didn't have the bulb, the boat will continuously capsize because of the weight of the mast. Other than that, it's pretty much um, details, simplified, but with details, I like this little, details of the wood around here, these um, sections inside, the mast is um, goes all the way down to the keel, it stepped on the keel. The rudder is a bit ugly, but it does function, that's important, but I mean, I would, this was a detail that I went um, and noticed, let's Hope say. Hope you enjoyed, the, stay tuned. Part two coming soon.